Hey, what's up YouTube? Today I'm going to do a favorites video. I didn't do an April favorites, so I'm going to combine April and May together and just do an April May favorites video. So, we'll get to it. First off, we'll go through the makeup products and the first one is a foundation that I've been using quite a bit and it is the uh, L'Oreal True Match Foundation. It is a super blendable makeup lotion in the color neutral and it's in the color neutral. It's not in the color neutral. Um, classic Ivory is the color and it's just, they call it neutral. So they call it, this is the N2. There's like a whole, they have like a whole range of um, different foundations. I think there's like a W and an N and then obviously N and I think there's one other one, but I can't quite remember what it is. But I decided to try the N2 for no particular reason. They all kind of look the same to me, so. But uh, I've really been enjoying this. It's uh, moisturizing and it's good when you kind of have a bit of dry skin which I I really do right now with the weather and um, it's just been it's not I wouldn't say it's the best coverage if you have acne like I've been getting quite a bit of acne and it's not like the best coverage but the concealer that I use covers up the red spots so this is just a really good base and I'm just really enjoying it right now Next up is a powder, and this is the L'Oreal True Match uh, Pressed Powder. I think that's what it says. Uh, oh, it's the Super Blendable Powder. And this one is in N1 Soft Ivory, and it's also neutral. I. Zoe. The reason I tried this is oh, I can't remember the YouTuber's name. But she recommended it in one of her videos where she talked about good makeup for if you have acne prone skin. So she recommended to try this powder and I picked it up and it works quite well. It's, I like my Rimmel powder but I find the Rimmel powder can kind of be a bit cakey and like when you have, um, when you're having a bad skin day, it's not the best powder to put on. So I've just been really enjoying this powder because it's not as noticeable. It gives me the matte look that I'm going for and it touches up oily uh, skin so when I get oilier in my T-zone it touches that up quite well. And like I said, it's less noticeable especially when you have, um, if you're having a bad skin day and you need to cover up some of the acne and this does a pretty good job so really liking this. Next up is a bronzer by Rimmel London. This one is a maxi bronzer. I'm sorry about the dirty cover. Uh, this is a maxi bronzer in the number two called Sun Love. And I'll just pop it open and show you. Um, so it looks like that. And I've just been really liking this. I bought this a while ago and I just didn't use it very much. And now I have been and I've really been liking it. It gives me the bit of the, you know, fake tanned look that I'm looking for uh, right now as it's getting closer to summertime and I want to look a bit more bronze. Uh, so this does quite a good job and I'm really liking this. The next product is a blusher by, I don't know how to say this name so um, don't laugh at me if I say it wrong, but Shishido? Or I probably just totally butchered that like hardcore, but it is a awesome blusher and I broke the lid so you gotta be careful the lid's coming right off that's the color and it is it says it's a luminizing satin face color um, but it's just as you can see it's like a, a pinky a soft pink color and I've got it on right now and I just really like it because it just gives you more of a natural uh, blush on your cheeks and I don't wear blusher very often because my cheeks are naturally quite red but um, this just works really nice and it blends in very nicely and I've just been really enjoying this. I got this in one of my uh, top boxes, so thank you top box. Again, another awesome product. I may have to, once this is finished, go pick up an actual full size one because I've really, really, really been liking this one. This next product is by Maybelline and it's a brow gel. Basically, if you don't know what a brow it, it says it's like they call it a sculpting brow mascara but it's kind of gel like to me but you just have the little um, brush here 
and you basically just go over your eyebrows before you put on whatever color you're gonna color in your eyebrows with and this just kind of sets your eyebrows and keeps it from you know how you can get those pesky little pieces that kind of like I don't know what's the word there's they stick out or they fall out of line or whatever and they just don't stay put so this just helps to set it and keep them fairly nice throughout the day and I just I've really been enjoying this out put it on right before you put on your whatever color and then you're good to go so good job Maybelline good product last up for the makeup products is a mascara by Maybelline as well this one is the Lash Sensational Hydrofuge Mascara and this one is waterproof. As you can see, the brush is kind of rounded. So basically you take the little side with the little bristles and you go underneath, so from the um, from your lash line out and this just get make sure you get like full coverage on your lashes so you get mascara right from the root to the tip and it just spreads out your lashes quite nicely and like I said, gives you re like really good coverage. And then you take it the other side and you go over it just to darken up the lashes a little bit more. Probably gonna buy this one again when it's empty. All right, I don't know if I would categorize this as a makeup product, but I don't think it's a makeup product, but who knows. Anyway, we'll just get right to it and I'll show you. Uh, this is the Body Shop Vitamin E Face Mist. And this says that it instantly refreshes a uh, moisture boost and it's for all skin types. And I just really, really like this. I also, the same YouTuber who um, talked about the L'Oreal Blendable Powder recommended this as well for acne prone skin. And this is, it says it's with rose water to refresh and it's perfect for setting makeup. I use this basically to also set my makeup, but I also use it like throughout the day. If your skin's feeling a bit dry or you know, you're feeling a bit warm, um, especially with this hotter weather, you just spray this on your face and it's it really like it's super refreshing and it's just kind of like a nice little um, moisture boost to like wake up your face and I've been really loving it and it smells really nice. Oh, it smells so good. So I got yeah, this is from the body shop, so I'm really liking this and this will probably be a product that I will continue to buy. Up next are some shampoos and this is the don't know what that says Cuco oil? <laughs> I cannot, I can't read apparently and see for yourself. If you guys know how to say it, good for you. You're smarter than me. But um, this is for hydrating and defrizzing. I got the shampoo and conditioner. Um, I needed something because my hair, like with this weather changing again, and it's kind of humid and then it's hot, like it's just like really bipolar weather right now. Um, so my hair has just been super, super frizzy and dry and I needed something to hydrate it and control the frizz because it was driving me absolutely insane. Just, I was going every morning, it's just a pain in the butt to do my hair. So I picked up these from Superstore and I've really been loving them. It is in... A cuckoo nut oil, an ancient Hawaiian secret used for its humidity resistant abilities. That's what it says. But it smells like if I've never been to Hawaii, but I'm assuming it smells like this. Like this smells so good. It's, oh, it's so great. Just sniff it all day. It's so good. So I'd recommend going out and trying these if your hair is like mine and it's dry and frizzy. So. So goodbye. Up next is a lotion by the Bath and Body Works. This one is the Fresh Brazil Citrus Body Lotion and that was delayed. I was like, what is this called? I've really been liking this one. It's obviously because you saw in the bottle there's like a lemon on it. So it's just got a lemon uh, smell to it and it's just Again, it says fresh, it gives you a nice fresh lemony smell. Like like when you wash the dishes with like a lemony soap. So I've again just been using this as like kind of like a perfume because like it's not as strong as an actual perfume, obviously. And at my job, I think I've told you this, scents are like scents are not allowed, but I've 
found I can get away with these because the scent, it's kind of strong at first, but then it kind of like fades away, but it still leaves that lingering smell so that you still smell good, but it's not going to overpower and hurt anybody's head. So really like this. This next item is a hair product and it's just this polka dot blue and white polka dot headband. You can see it's got the little stretchy thing there. <laughs> stretchy thing. I don't know if I'm using right terms here. But I'm um, really, really liking this one. I, I don't usually wear headbands, but recently I started and I'm really liking this one. It's so cute and it dresses up outfits and dress the outfits, dresses up my hair. And I've kind of actually been using this when I'm having a bad hair day because I can just put this in and it like pulls back my bangs and it covers up all the frizzy parts. And it's just, like I said, it just looks really cute and it looks like you made an effort to do your hair even though you didn't. So I think you can get this like at Shoppers Drug Mart or Superstore or something super cheap or whatever. So, or you can get similar ones obviously from probably like the dollar store. So really, really liking this. The last favorite I'm going to show you is a clothing item. Now I've been looking for one of these for the longest time since last year and it is a maxi dress. Um, I'm not going to be able to show you obviously the whole thing because it's quite long. Um, it goes definitely, it's taller than me, but it makes me look tall which is a bonus. It makes me look very tall and slender and I like that. Um, as you can see it's just got the little strappies here and I can, it's hard to, ugh, is, you can see like this right here and it kind of defines the waist a little bit and then it hides whatever you want to hide if you know what I mean ladies um, and it's just super comfortable and feels light and it's just really really nice like it's been really hot the last couple weeks so I just throw this on when I get home from work and cool right down I just I love it so much the pattern it's just I love the colors on it it's so summery looking and I'm just so like thrilled that I found a maxi dress that I felt comfortable in and that looks good on me. So got this from Warehouse One and I think it was only like $34.99 or something so it wasn't that bad of a price. So really, really loving this. Alright guys, so those are all my favorites. Uh, comment down below and just let me know what your favorites are because I honestly, I really would like to know what you've been loving the last couple months. and. Like I like trying new things and I'd like to know what you guys recommend or what you've been liking and what you guys use. That would be cool and thank you for watching the video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you want to see more of me and I will see all you fine people next time. Bye. Would you rather be attacked by a big bear or a swarm of bees? <laughs> I feel like either way it would suck. But I would have to say the swarm of bees because the bear could probably kill you and the bees would sting you and then they would die. So haha -ha on them. And I'm not allergic to bees so I wouldn't die.